Hey guys, it's the boss here with another video today, everybody, with a bunch of news for the Gaming News Show, which is a show that we haven't done here on the channel in quite some time, but there has been some more news that has popped up in the gaming community, and I want to discuss two of those stories with you all today. So let's get into it. Now for our first story here, guys, I know that we've talked about over the past two Gaming and News episodes, we've talked about the possibilities and news coming out with the Spyro Remastered Trilogy. Now as some of you guys, or at least a lot of you may know by this point, or if some of you don't, you'll find out now, it has been indeed confirmed that Spyro is indeed getting his PS4 remake, similar to what Crash Bandicoot got with the Insane Trilogy. The name has been announced as the Reignited Trilogy, which kind of fits considering how they are remaking the original games. Spyro breathes fire, he's a dragon, ha ha ha, the whole world works. But it has been confirmed that Spyro will be getting his PS4 remaster debut, which is going to be a good thing. The announcement announced a release date for Spyro as of the middle of 2018. So I believe is releasing sometime over the summer, don't quote me on that, I'm not sure the exact release date, but it is releasing at some point in the middle of this year, which is going to be a really good thing, so that way, if you guys didn't play the original Spyro games, and they are really expensive nowadays, you can pick them up for your PS4 if you have one, and you can play another classic gaming icon as a staple here in the gaming community. And again, it's a really good thing to get the opportunity to replay these games, even if you haven't played the old ones. But either way, guys, good news is that the Spyro Trilogy is indeed real, and uh, that's what I want to talk about for this. Let's cover the next story. The next story that we have here, guys, is actually not a news segment, but more a, a possibility segment, if you will. Recently, there's been a lot of speculation in the gaming community about the possibility of the PS5 releasing this year. Now, I've seen a lot of YouTubers discuss this topic, and I've seen a lot of people bring it up in the gaming community. There's been a lot of debate over the fact that they are indeed making a PS5. You would expect that, since they have been making new consoles for the past several years, the PS5 will undoubtedly be a thing. The real question has been, when are they going to release it? Now, there's been a lot of speculation that they will release the PlayStation 5 in the latter half of this year, most likely around November and December. However, it wouldn't make much logical sense from the gaming standpoint, as we have already received the PS4 quite recently, and if they did release the PS5 in the back half of this year, they would have only had about seven months since the last major console release to basically put together this brand new revolutionary console. So it wouldn't make much sense if they rushed the development of it, so to speak. Unless this project has been in development for such a long time, in my opinion, I do not think that the PlayStation 5 will be releasing. However, there have been people speculating the possibility of it being releasing this year, but of course, people have been theorizing that it's going to be releasing as late as 2019. We do expect to get it, it's just a matter of when they announce it and when this console actually drops. So, I'm going to make you guys aware of this news, the fact that it has been speculated that the PlayStation 5 may be released in 2018, or potentially next year, but I wanted to bring this up to you guys to let you know uh, the possibility of this, and uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Do you think that the PlayStation 5 will be coming out this year? Do you think that it will be coming out next year? Let me know your thoughts and feelings about that down below. And that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I know this was a bit of a shorter episode than what I normally have done. There hasn't really been too many big gaming stories that I've been able to see, but these two came up with the Spyro remaster announcement and the PlayStation 5 um, announcements as well, or the speculation, I should say. But I wanted to bring this to you guys. You know, Let me know what you guys think about in the comment section down below about Spyro on the PlayStation 5. I just really want to talk about this with you guys today in today's episode. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new with that bell notification on so you can catch my future content and live streams. I do stream here on YouTube between the hours of 10 and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check back with that. And having the bell on does give you an increased chance to catch that. So do that if you really want to. And let me know what you think about the stories down below. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you dudes later. Peace out.